hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET how to bind records with images from SQL Server database into repeater control and here we got the final output notice the user details with the profile image is binded into this repeater control the user id username and uh, this is the password let's change that one password i'm rerunning the browser link and here we got the final output the user id username and password are binded from the database and this user image picture is binded from the project images folder and the image path I have stored in the database that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before writing the coding part in Visual Studio first we'll check the table and the column names the table name is a user registration which contains four columns ID, username, password and profile pic. And notice in the profile pic the images path has stored but the actual image I have stored in the project images folder. Let's visit the ASP.NET project. Just for the time saving I have already created a new project and also I have added the images folder to this project. And these two images path I have stored in the database. Now my aim is I want to bind the records from the database as well as I want to display this image from this folder into a repeater control. Let's start the coding part. Now notice in this source page contains a simple HTML5 code which contains some header tags H1 horizontal line. Now after the horizontal line I am adding a repeater control of a toolbox in the data folder is a repeater control I am adding the repeater control after that right click the mouse go to view code now in this code behind first I am adding the namespaces using system.data using system.data.sql client the last one I'm adding using system.configuration after adding these namespaces the next step in the server explorer under data connections I'm adding my SQL server database right click the data connections add connection I'm adding SQL server name After adding server name, I am selecting the database name. Sample GP is my user database. Test connection. It succeeded. OK. OK. And here the selected sample DB database is added under data connections. We need the data source of this sample DB. Right click the sample db.dbo. Go to properties. In the properties under connection strings, there is a data source. Copy that. Open Solution Explorer. In the project, the web.config file, open that one. In the web.config file, so the configuration, I'm adding connection strings. Add name is equals to my connection. Connection string, I'm adding the data source. Provide our name, which is a system dot data dot SQL client. After adding the connection string in the web.config file, switch to the code behind. Let's bind the data into this page load event. String main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings. Between double quotes, I'm adding my connection, copy this one here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I am adding main con string SQL query is equals to the SQL query here is a select statement 
select start from the table name is dbo.user registration copy this one paste here sql command sql com is equals to new sql command which takes two parameters the first one is a command text which is sql query and the second parameter is a connection object sql com after that let's open the connection string sql con dot open method close the connection string close method now between this open and close method i'm adding sql data reader sdr is equals to sql com dot execute reader method after that i'm binding the SQL data reader into the repeater control the repeater one dot data source is equals to SDR SQL data reader object the last one repeater one dot data bind method that's it we have written the code to bind the table into this repeater control but in the repeater control to display the data in this repeater control, we need to add the header template, item template, and the footer template. Let's add those ones. The first one is header template. Next one is the item template. The last one is a footer template. Now, in the header template, I'm creating a table both are is equals to 1 I'm closing this table tag in the footer now inside the table folder I'm adding tr table headers in the table header user profile th I'm adding the image user image after adding the headers in the item template the all 3d I want to display the data in the bold letter user ID percentage hash eval method between double quotes I am adding the column name id copy this one paste here break copy this one the second column name is the name username the third one is a password copy this one and the password now the last one I'm deleting which I don't require I'm adding another TD now in this TD I'm adding the image control open toolbox image control I'm adding the property image URL is equals to percentage hash eval method between double quotes. Now in this double quotes, I'm adding the image path profile pick. Copy this one. I'm pasting here. And I'm making the single calls instead of double calls. I'm making the single calls. Alternate text is equals to. Again, I'm adding single calls. Percentage. Hash. Eval method. The double calls. 
when the images are filled to display I want to display the alternate text so here I'm adding the username this one and friends here also it's a username let's add the height and width height is equals to 100 width is equals to 100 that's it we have done the complete coding part let's check the results on the browser google chrome and here we got the final output notice the user details with the profile image is binded into this repeater control the user id username and uh, this is the password let's change that one password i'm rerunning the browser link and here we got the final output the user id username and password are binded from the database and this user image picture is binded from the project images folder and the image path i have stored in the database that's it